Hi viewers, this is Mohan Ramsey Pentacotter. I'm a data warehousing and business intelligence consultant. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of MicroStrategy Desktop. The viewers of this video must have high level understanding on what is a project source, what is MicroStrategy metadata, what is a project in MicroStrategy. To access a project in MicroStrategy, first you need to connect to the project source. To connect to a project source, double click on a project source or right click and click on connect. It will ask you for a login ID and password. Under project source, you can see different icons. The first of which is administration icon and rest of the icons are related to projects. Administration under project source enables you to monitor the projects that are created under the project source. Cluster nodes is used for load balancing purposes. Using system monitors, you can monitor the jobs, database connections, user connections to the MicroStrategy Inclusion Server and uh, metadata and data warehouse. And also you can monitor the cache as well. Under configuration managers, you can create database instances that creates connectivity between MicroStrategy and the bank and data warehouse. You can also create schedules and subscriptions, events, security roles, and languages. Transmitter, for example, can be your email address that stays in the problem address. Device can be your Outlook or a generic email. Contacts will be the, the recipient. Under user manager, you can create manage users and also organize users into different groups. Let's talk about the folder structure that exists under a project. To access the folder structure within a project, connect to a project, you can see different folders under the projects. History folder can be seen only if you are using MicroStrategy Intelligence Server. That means you are connected in three-tier mode. You can use this folder to retrieve scheduled report. My personal object, say suppose you want to create a report that serves your specific needs and you want to save it in your own folder. Under my personal objects, you can save reports that are only visible to you. Public objects contain objects that can be viewed by all users depending on their permissions and privileges. Schema objects. Under schema objects, you can create attributes, facts, functions, hierarchies, partitions, tables, transformations. All the objects that you create under schema objects are logically related to the backend database table. The objects that are used to create reports, dashboards, and documents, etc., etc., are created by using schema objects. Thanks for watching this video and feel free to ask questions.